All right, so now that you have your file saved, let's open up Illustrator and create a new document. And we're going to select Web. And we're going to make this 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. And we'll just name the file Vector Portrait and just put your first and last name. I'm also going to set my raster effects to 300 and just keep it at RGB. Alright, so some panels and tools that we're going to be using, as always, are layers. You're going to open up your brush panel, your swatches and your color panel and you can get these all from your window menu and some of the tools in the toolbox that I'm going to tear off and use are the pen tool my basic shapes and also the pencil tool. So we're going to be using the smooth tool which is inside of there. Now we're going to place our original image first. So we can go file, place, And your image might be really large, so just fit it into the area that we're working with on our artboard. And really for this project, all you really need is from the neck up. Okay? You can draw mo more of it if you want to, but all I really require from this project is just from the neck up. Okay? So you can just drag this up to fit the artboard. Later on when it becomes a vector, we can scale it up to be as large as you need it to be. So I'll just align it to the center and the top of the artboard. And if we twirl open the layer panel, so just expand layer one, and we're going to rename that linked file that we just placed as original, just so we can keep track and differentiate the original picture from the posturized one which we're about to place in, in the exact same position, right over top of it. Okay, so once you name it, just lock it in position and then place the posturized version into your file. Okay, and just place that right over top in the exact same position. And then lock this one in place and rename that posturize. So we're just going to rename layer one as photos and then collapse the layer and just lock the entire layer and we'll create a new layer right on top of it and call it skin tones. Okay, so we're going to be drawing all of our skin tone shapes on that layer, the mid-tone shape, all of our highlights and all of our shadows will be included on this layer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just set up my tools right now before I start drawing. So one of the tools that I'm going to set up is the eyedropper tool. And later on we're going to use this tool to sample color from our original photo to get our mid-tone color. Okay? So if we double click on this tool, right now your eyedropper says that when you sample color from either a raster image or a vector image, what it does is take a point sample, so one point 
by one point or a pixel by one pixel. So if we change this from point sample to five by five average, what it's gonna do is sample five pixels across, five pixels down. It's gonna average out 25 pixels in that area and give you the average color that you've sampled. And then you can click okay. And when we start drawing with the pen tool, what we want to do is draw with no fill and have the thinnest point stroke that we can. So I'm just going to set this to 0.25 points. So I'm just working with a black stroke at 0.25 points, no fill. So that way when I'm tracing over the object, I don't have a fill going right over top of it so that I can't see what's underneath.